the protons get converted into neutrons by electron capture when cooled down to critical temperature. Neutrinos are emitted in this process. The neutrinos can be detected by a tracking calorimeter. When the temperature of the superconductor is raised and critical temperature is crossed, the protons and electrons are formed again by the beta decay of neutrons. Anti-neutrinos are emitted in this process. Again, the anti-neutrinos can be detected by a tracking calorimeter. A combination of high temperature superconductors could be room temperature superconductor. Thank you for watching.